Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rob. I'm Sierra. And today we are talking about some things that I've just had on my mind for a little while. Some things that are just odd about the Korean culture. So in this video today, we're talking about five pieces of Korean culture that are just odd to Americans. And I think we're about average Americans. Yeah. So maybe this is odd to other Americans here in Korea and maybe we're just weird. We think these things are odd and everybody else just says, nah, man, it's normal. But here in Korea, we find these five things extremely odd. Drop a comment down below. Tell us if you agree with us or not, okay? So for number one, we have... Korean affection. Now, this is odd for Americans because in America, if you show affection, like real affection to a stranger, it's a little bit odd, it's a little bit awkward, yeah. right? But here in Korea, they show a genuine affection for everyone around them and for their friends next to them. Yeah. What we mean by that is a lot of times you'll see guys walking down the street with their guy friends with their arms around them like this or, mm -hmm. or like even holding hands or holding arms mm -hmm. a lot of times and, and girls doing the exact same thing. And it's not that they are intimate with each other, it's just that they love each other, have a genuine affection for that person. Friendship. Friendship. And, and they are not afraid to show their true feelings towards each other in that friendship. And it's pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, another thing, another part of that affection is that they love complimenting not only each other, but strangers. Oh my gosh. Okay. So today, yep. in the subway, we, <laughs> um, we were about to get on the subway and Rob had to go throw something away in the trash. And so these two older ladies decided, oh, there's an open seat. So they came down to sit next to me. And one of the ladies thought that, you know, she kind of looked at me kind of weird and she patted me on the shoulder and she started speaking in Korean to me. And you probably didn't understand her at all, did you? Not really. Yeah. <laughs> so I just kind of looked at her like, uh, what? <laughs> and But anyways, she kind of like put her hand like this and was like, face beautiful. <laughs> And I was like, thanks. <laughs> yeah, and so this kind of thing happens all the time. This isn't just like something that just happened today. Our, one of my favorite camera stores, there's an old lady and her husband who run the camera store. Yeah. And they're just a sweet couple. Every time we go in there though, like if she stays outside, it's like, beautiful wife, come in. Beautiful, <laughs> beautiful, handsome boy. And they, they say that stuff every single time we go in there. And it's just because the Korean culture is a very affectionate culture. Mm -hmm. And maybe it's because their affection that they like to tell Sierra how beautiful she is. Or maybe they think that she has natural beauty. Uh, because a lot of times here in Korea, the culture for makeup, Korean females and males wearing makeup is very strong. Yeah. The makeup culture is very strong here in Korea. And that kind of brings us to our second point, and that is Korean makeup. Now, Sierra loves doing makeup for herself, and she has this ch uh, YouTube channel, small YouTube channel called Coloring Beautiful, where she does art stuff and she does makeup stuff. Yep. And she's a licensed cosmetologist. This girl loves makeup. <laughs> so. When it comes to the makeup culture here, Sierra has shown me a few videos of Korean makeup transformations. Yep. So we're gonna react to a short clip of one of these videos. If you wanna see the full video, check the link in the description. You'll have a link to the full video there. But we're gonna show you a short clip of one of the videos that just drive me nuts. Like it's crazy, the transformation is just so extreme. We're gonna do that now. Okay, she's really pretty already. Whoa, what was that? Hold up, no, rewind. Rewind. She pulled a tapeworm out of her nose. <gasps> that looked like it was like one of those straw wrappers. Like she, <laughs> I said a straw wrapper. She stuck up her nose just to like give it some fill. Hold on. Oh my God. Oh, that tickles my brain just thinking about it. Oh my gosh, this stuff was deep. <sighs> the tape, she pulled tape off her face. Whoa. That is a completely different person. Holy cow. Wow. And so with that, my brain tickles now and, and I just have the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> All right, now that video is absolutely just mind-boggling to me. It's just, it makes my nose just tingle. But on top of the makeup culture here in Korea, the fashion culture is another thing that's slightly odd for us mm -hmm. as average Americans, when I say average Americans. Mm -hmm. And it's because whether it's summertime, springtime, fall, or winter, Koreans have a certain style that they like to stick to. 
yeah. right? Like a lot of young Koreans, I've seen some older ones as well, like to wear these cut off. Are they always cut off? They're like short pants. Mm -hmm. They're not capris necessarily. Yeah. They're full length pants, but they just stop right above the ankle. Yeah. Now a lot of times they'll combine these with like sandals. And the only reason it's odd to us, if it was summertime, I totally get that. It's hot outside. Get some airflow on them, on the little ankles. I get it. <laughs> but in the wintertime, people wear the same combination of these yeah. short pants and these sandals. It's crazy. It's crazy because it was snowing yeah. and we saw a dude in sandals and these short cut off pants. I'm like, dude, your little pig is going to freeze to death. So on top of the makeup, there's the fashion here in Korea, which is just a little bit odd to an average American. So that's number three. Number four is nowhere near is like a much of a big deal to, to me, I guess. I, I think it's a little bit odd because you don't get free stuff in America. Yeah. But what is number four? All of the side dishes you get before you get your meal at a Korean restaurant. Yeah, yeah, like like I said, in America, we don't get a lot of free stuff. When you go to a restaurant, you want something, you pay for it. Yeah. Like, I've seen some restaurants that are like, they charge you for the lemon. If you just want water mm -hmm. and you want lemon with your water, yes. they'll charge you for the lemon yeah. in America. But here in Korea, your side dishes that they bring out before your meal are completely free. Like they don't charge you for any of that. Now, on, on, on one hand, that's awesome. On the other hand, I walked into a Korean restaurant before, just wanted to sit down, look at the menu, see if they had what I wanted, and they just start bringing these side dishes. And I'm like, okay, now I feel I'll get obligated to eat here. Um, so it's not really a bad thing at all, yeah. but it's just odd because you don't get that in America. They do this and they call it service, uh, which is just something free saying thanks for coming by. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. You guys rock for that, Korea. I like free food. Okay, now coming in for number five, Sierra, just take this entire thing away. Go ahead. Okay, so speaking of service, there are a lot of elderly people, like 60s, 70s, um, and even older than that, who yeah. do community service, yeah. like around the city. Like, they could be sweeping up leaves and trash, they could be carting around boxes, they could be, you know, taxi, taxi drivers. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a lot of the, a yeah. lot of the older, a lot of the taxi drivers are older people, mm -hmm. like men and women. Yeah, and whether it's just their job or they want to help out, like, it's really cool to see that in the culture. Yeah, much appreciated, and on top of that, they're active, other, other than work as well, yeah. like hiking up sand mountain. Yeah, they do a lot of exercising and a lot of outdoor sports. Like if you go to any park in, you know, especially like, for example, we go to the park um, down by Camp Henry and they have tennis courts yep. and um, exercise equipment. Yeah, exercise equipment. So we see old people on those all the time. And it's just so cool to see that. Yeah, there's a lot more old people out there doing all this exercise and doing this active stuff mm -hmm. than young people. And so it's definitely a different culture. It's definitely different culture to culture mm -hmm. yeah. from America doing that. Mm -hmm. I also like seeing the elderly people out there doing like street performances or on stages yeah. doing like songs and playing guitar um, and like like old Korean, old style Korean music yeah, just singing. Ha they just have a good time. It's, yeah, it's they're really just cool. really active. I love to see that because it keeps them healthy and keeps probably yeah. their morale up mm -hmm. for life. Yeah, and keeps so them happy. We love you, Korea, for having all these odd things that things that we think are odd. We love your culture. Keep being awesome. And the rest of you guys, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you really liked it, what can they do? Subscribe. <laughs> that. Bye, guys. Bye.